What other uh, procedures do you have ahead of you? Oh, geez. Um, so penis, I already talked about. I'm getting my butthole redone, which is a thing I didn't know you could do. Um, there's a doctor in New York. Oh, what is it called? Bespoke something, Bespoke Medical in New York. It's. I don't know if the doctor is gay or it, it doesn't matter, but it's a very gay looking practice. It's like, are you a bottom? Do you want a bottom better? Come here. We'll help you out. Like that's like their marketing. Um, Uh and they, like, I was a wild ass bottom in my twenties, just willy nilly throwing shit up there. Right. So Mm -hmm. I got some, I don't have a pretty butthole anymore. I have like a Mm -hmm. fisting bottom butthole. Not that it was a fisting bottom, but it looks like I was. So I want a pretty butthole. Cause if I'm doing porn as a female, you know, we're doing close ups in 4k on the butthole now whereas Mm -hmm. we weren't as a dude so as it turns out you can totally fix that like you just go to the butt doctor and they just revamp overhaul your butthole do they like remove hemorrhoids like what are they it's kind of like a similar thing these laser scalpels botox this and that they and i don't have a problem taking big things on my butt which i'm grateful for but that's the service they offer too like if somebody um really wants to do anal but it just hurts every time that's a solvable problem now you can go to the doctor and they will get in there and loosen this muscle relax that some people have a curved situation inside them so where like mm-hmm. if a hard thing goes in it just bend, it's ouchy that can be yeah. fixed too like it's all that so i'm getting my butthole reworked um wait that's, you can that, get like surgery to like make yourself like the best anal performer of all yeah, time absolutely and that I'm told we'll see is actually covered by health insurance. So really? cool. if it is, we'll see because health insurance anthem has not been cool to me. So we'll see. But okay. um, so that I'm going for the consult in a couple of weeks for that to schedule that robo penis um, in June. I'm getting hip implants, butt implants, and lipo basically every fucking where like arms waist, lower back, upper back, belly, everything. And I have a ton of fat to suck out, but I didn't know this about lipo. If you just suck out the cell, the fat cells, period, like just get them out, you can't grow fat there anymore. Mm-hmm. Then you go eat McDonald's or whatever, and it goes somewhere else in your body, like your butt or legs yeah. or something. So I want that. Like why, while they're knocking me out to do the hip implants, I'm like, might as well suck all the fat out, buddy. So that's what they're going to do. So that's a big recovery that's going to be where are you going where are you going for that uh so dr stanton is if you want hip or butt implants not a bbl but actual like silicone implants Mm -hmm. dr stanton in beverly hills is pretty much the go-to he does more of those implants than anyone in the world and Mm -hmm. if you're getting any procedure done what i've learned for the past nine months is you keep going to doctors for consults until you find the one that says that procedure I do more of than anyone in the world. Cause, and then you're about to learn a bunch of shit cause they're going to say shit like Dr. Barrett, like, Oh, I can go in through the nipple. It's fine. Where every other doctor said they can't. Every other mm-hmm. doctor I said, BBL is not going to work for me because I have mostly a visceral fat. My pelvic bone isn't wide enough anyway. The fat's not going to stick to this part. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not a fit. I say, can you do implants? And they say, you don't want implants. They're going to look crooked. They're going to look weird. They're going to look fake. Uh, I finally go to Dr. Stanton and he's like, yeah, everybody says that, but no, no, I do it all the time. And we stitch them to your bones. They don't move. And we make custom implants, like 3D, like we make them that fit your body. Like the implants Mm -hmm. we put in you are just made for you. So they're not going to look all crazy and fake. And you can go under the muscle on the butt. So it doesn't look, it's just your butt's just extended out, but it still feels like a butt. It doesn't feel like a rock or anything. And I'm like, All right, let's do that. So, Dr. Stanton. Is he the same guy doing your lipo? Yeah, and while I'm knocked out, he he doesn't do fat transfer, but he does lipo really well from what I've read. So, Mm -hmm. um, and lipo is pretty straightforward. As long as basically you don't want to get burned, you can get burns from lipo. Uh, But he's done enough lipo to where I feel confident he's not going to burn me. So, yeah. um, See, because I went and I got bad lipo, like. mm maybe 10 years ago or something uh, like that and they like took too much out like and so i have like grooves in certain places like it was just like really badly done uh, like, i actually wasn't even a licensed plastic surgeon he was mm. a licensed dermatologist and the way that he advertised it was like board certified sorry board certified but board certified but he was a board certified 
dermatologist, not a board certified dermatologist. Lipo, but the way that he promoted it was that, and I was stupid, and I didn't do enough research, and I was you impulsive. Stupid. Anyways, you saw board certified, and you had faith in that, like anyone else would. Yeah, that's not stupid. Yeah, that's I actually just- wrote him a really bad Yelp review, which I've like, literally never done, and I've had so many women reach out to me and say that he like totally did a hack job on them. So since I've had a baby, I have like belly fat that I just like cannot get rid of. Yeah. Um, I'm almost back to my original weight, but I just can't get rid of it. So that's something that I want to look into, but I'm so scared to get it done again because I I don't want to have. So I'm always like interested to know about like, who's really good at that. Cause that's literally all I want. Everything else is fine. It's just that. And this is, this is common for women, you know, especially. Yeah. my age and after having a baby it's like just, yeah yeah like and yeah you gotta find a good one charlotte um for procedure she's had done i just watched her research the shit out of it and thank god i knew because i saw that like oh it's worth it to like, what you're doing now it's like okay i want to do this but i'm scared i want to get it done right that's the right attitude to have not like mm-hmm. okay i got 10 grand let's fucking go who's in town yeah. You don't want to. You want to. You want to. You might travel. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. To get it done right, that's kind of the thing. So that hip, but lipo, penis, then butthole, and then full FFS, uh, full facial or feminization, facial feminization surgery (FFS). That's what that means. Uh, where mm-hmm. they do like seven or eight surgeries on my face just to like fucking make it look right. Um, Are they going to like shave down bones and like add? Yeah. So if I turn sideways, you can see. So on a male skull, there's this brow Mm -hmm. ridge, right? Yes. That's the thing. And I I never noticed that before I started transitioning. Um, And if no one pointed out to me, I probably still wouldn't notice it. But now it's one of those things when your brain sees a face subconsciously or whatever, it picks up male or female. Like, Mm-hmm. it's like just a tell so mm-hmm. they got to fix that and you that's a surgery it's also that, how that's also how archaeologists can identify yeah. male and female bones from a skull generally skull. Is, is that brow tell from yeah. that brow ridge. so if you're gonna fix that you have to go to there's very few surgeons in the world who can do that surgery because it's not just shaving the bone that's actually a hollow they don't know why but that ridge is hollow um Mm-hmm. maybe to make our skulls lighter we don't really know so they cut it off mash up the bones take some titanium or ceramic plates and fill in the hole otherwise you're gonna have a fucking dent in your skull so they have to be really good at that and then if you're doing that you have to do the nose otherwise your old nose won't fit your your forehead it'll it'll sink mm-hmm. up funky so they got to do a nose job and then while they're doing the nose job uh, males have, I don't know if you can see, if your viewers can see, but the dimension from lip to nose, like that measurement, it's much mm-hmm. longer on men than on women. So mm-hmm. they, while they're doing the nose, they cut under the nose to do a lip lift, right? Mm-hmm. And then, then they take the chin and they shave off, shave off, mash up more bone, make a chin make sense because of male chins go the dimension from lower lip to the bottom of your chin is longer on males than on females. Basically, on women, the biggest number is the forehead, and then it goes gradually smaller from there down. On men, mm-hmm. the biggest number is the chin, and it goes gradually smaller the other way. So they just reverse that. Um, I'm not going to – most people do chin – I'm sorry, jaw, like the actual jaw hinge, shave that down. But I actually like having a ridge jaw. I like it. I'm going to keep mm-hmm. it. Like Sigourney yeah. Weaver, Charlie Theron. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's just keep yeah. that. So for, I don't have to do somebody the, who doesn't have a strong jawline. Trust me, keep keep a nice jaw. strong jawline yeah. because I wish I had that. <laughs> yeah, and then I don't have to do the Adam's apple scrape because I don't really have one. It's lucky there, oh, so that's cool. Okay. Um, yeah. So they're going to do all that, and then cheekbones. The doctor I'm going to, Kia Jampa, he's the only one that I know of that actually puts. Uh, not bone, but 3D prints some shit, and it's hard like a bone, and makes it fit your face perfectly. Every other FFS doctor just does fat transfer and puts fat in there. So instead mm-hmm. of um, bone, like a hard female cheekbone that has fat over it, it's just all fat. Which mm-hmm. I know people have done that, and they look amazing. It looks really good. But for me, I'm like, 
I'd rather just have something like heart, you know, like that's mm-hmm. my skull. So I'm doing that. And then um, for the, f- I'm lucky I have a thick hair, head of hair, but it's mm-hmm. a very male hairline. So they're just going to do hair plugs. Just do, 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 fill that in. Mm-hmm. So that's December is when I'm scheduled for that. But uh, I already paid it off. So they're like, we'll get you in sooner if we can. People cancel all the time. So I don't know when yeah. I'm going to go through full face surgery, but worst case, December. And then wow. by then, hopefully I'll be done-ish with hair removal and then thick butthole, hips, waist, lipo, that'll all be done. So when I recover from that surgery, if it's in December, sometime after AVM, like late January, I'll be like done with the bullshit, basically. Then it's just diet, build leg muscle, the fun part. And the other thing is losing muscle. It's not a procedure, but it's probably the hardest part like i was there i was 185 pounds of just muscle just fucking shredded Mm -hmm. and um the only way to lose muscle is to starve it off and atrophy it so i have to like in somewhat of a healthy way starve all that muscle so basically just eat salads and like bread yeah like zero protein diet if i can it's possible but you know and then I've been doing Botox injections in the muscle that I'm trying to atrophy because that's what Botox literally atrophies muscle, Mm -hmm. which I don't think I can say I invented that procedure, but it definitely did not exist anywhere I heard of. And I just found an injector to try it with me. Someone else has probably tried it, but it's not written anywhere. So that's another thing for the book. Like, hey, by the way, if you want to speed up your muscle loss, Botox, you know. And you find that that's been working for you? Oh, it's crazy faster. Before that, I couldn't, um, I was doing an hour of cardio on an empty stomach every morning and barely eating and just getting minimal results. I mean, it just takes you and everything you read on Reddit or anything, people are saying, oh, I've been on hormones and starving for five years and I'm just now starting to lose my neck and trapped. And I was like, I'm going to be 50 by the time. Fuck that. So Botox the shit out of my arm. My arms are like way skinnier than they used to be. It's still got a ways to go. My neck, I want to lose a couple more inches. So we're stabbing that with mm-hmm. Botox and all that. The the oblique for me stuck out really far. So I had to stab that with Botox to like get that down. Um, that seems to are you work gonna, better. Are you going to change like your exercise routine? I mean, like I in have. Terms of, yeah, like I haven't know. lifted a weight since I started transitioning. I'm just doing cardio on a stationary bike. Um, mm-hmm. but once I'm done with all the surgeries and I've lost the muscle I want to lose, then it's the fun part. I can start eating fuck tons of protein and doing heavy leg days and you know what I mean? Build, build the legs. Cause while I'm losing this neck and arm muscle, my legs are like nothing. I have like tiny chicken legs now and my butt's like gone. So I need to rebuild that, but you can't do both at the same time. And, uh, mm-hmm. also the HGH while it was great for healing from the boobs, I had to really watch it, like get off it as soon as I could once I was healed because HGH makes you retain muscle. So it's like a wonder Mm -hmm. thing. But uh, when you're trying to lose muscle, you can't be on that. Right. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.